Hi there, my name is Sharon, Customer Success Manager here at My Web Audit. Now that your account is set up, it's time to run your first website audit. In just a few minutes, I'm going to show you how My Web Audit allows you to run a fully automated audit report or a combination of manual and automated audit checks using our platform. Once done, our system will create a comprehensive list of actionable recommendations that a prospect or customer can implement on their site to have it run faster, rank higher, and ultimately convert more visitors into leads or customers. To get started, click on the new audit button and follow these steps. Select the audit you would like to run. We have fully automated reports like the on-page SEO and page speed audits that only require you to enter your prospects details. Not all of our audit reports are fully automated. There are some reports that include areas like design, UI UX, conversion optimization, etc. that you simply can't automate and require your manual review using our app or the Chrome extension for audits like the e-commerce or GMB audits. That's an important distinction about our app because there seems to be this need to make everything automated. Automation is great, but it can only take you so far. Isn't it worth it to spend 5 or 10 minutes on an audit when it means you can close a four, five, or even a six-figure sale? In this example, let's run a report with both manual and automated points. Choose Website Audit. Click on the Create a New Company link and enter the following info for your prospect or customer. Company Name. Our autocomplete feature uses the Google Places API to find and retrieve business data. Please note it does not list businesses that choose to hide their street address in Google My Business. So if you can't find the business in the autocomplete list, just enter it manually. Create a new contact by clicking this link and enter their details. Name of the primary contact. Company email and phone number if you have them. You can then fill out the additional fields as needed. Website URL. Their primary keyword or keyword phrase they would ideally want to rank for. If you don't know it, pick a keyword that describes the product or service the company offers. Primary target location, usually where the company is located or is focusing their advertising towards. We've integrated with Google Maps API, so whenever possible, please pick the location suggested by Google as long as it is accurate. Once done with these and other optional fields, verify the information you entered is accurate and click the Begin Audit button to move on to the Website Audit page. On this page, we load the target website into an iframe on the left and have the audit points on the right. Please note that sometimes our app fails to load the site into an iframe due to the site's security settings. This is rare but can happen. In the event this happens, we recommend you download our Chrome extension, go directly to the site and use the extension to audit the site. Our application includes several different audit reports from the website audit and e-commerce audit to the competitive analysis report. Each audit is separated into different categories. You can add new categories and audit points at any time. When added, they will dynamically display here. Use the on and off toggle to select which categories you want to evaluate this website for. Only categories that are set to on will be included in the report. It's important to note that our application includes a combination of manual and automated points. Please remember that any time you see a past-failed toggle for an audit in the in-app audit or the Chrome extension, it means that the audit point requires your manual review and verification. By default, audit points will be set to not processed. This means they hold no value and will be hidden from the reports if their status is not changed to passed or failed. Click on the left side of the toggle button in the red gradient background to mark the audit point as failed. Click on the right side of the toggle button in the green gradient background to mark the audit point as passed. You can change the status of the audit point from passed to failed or vice versa by clicking on the toggle button for the audit point. You can reset the status of the audit point to not processed status by clicking on the reset button. At any given time, if you want to save your changes and finish the audit later, click on the Save and Close button. You will find the Saved Audit in the Incomplete Audits tab on the dashboard. You can view our Features page for a full list of manual versus automated audit checks. Once you are done with a manual audit, click the Run Audit button 
and our app will begin running dozens of automated audit points in the background for your target website. Remember, the audit will never be emailed to anyone automatically at this stage. Most audits take less than 5 to 10 minutes to run. Some sites take longer if hosted on budget hosting platforms, have major page performance problems, or due to latency issues with third-party APIs we leverage. If for some reason your audits take more than an hour to run, please reach out to our support team. Your next step should be to review the audit results and then use one of our done-for-you email templates to connect with your prospect or customer. Remember to deliver value before you sell. So unless you are slammed with leads in business, offer a strategy call or a free consultation session to cover the points you have uncovered versus just emailing it over. Happy auditing.